Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is my video tip of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to set up Sony Vegas or Sony Movie Studio to use with the external drives. Now, doing this will make the Sony Vegas and Movie Studio run a lot faster. You'll have a much fewer drop frames, and you'll get better results. Plus, you won't worry about filling up your main drive in your computer with video. Now, the first thing you want to do after you start Sony Vegas is go to File, and then click Properties. And in the property settings, there is a pre-rendered files folder option. And you want to change that so that it points at your external drive. To do that, you click Browse. And from, your, from the drop-down Browse for Folder list, you'll select your external drive. And then you'll select a folder to put on it. Now, since this is the pre-rendered files folder, we'll create a new folder called Vegas Pre-Rendered Files. And then we'll select OK. Now, that'll make this our pre-rendered files on our external drive for Vegas. Now after you make these changes, be sure to put a check mark in this box that says start all new projects with these settings. And then click OK. And then next we go to Options and Preferences. And on the General tab, you'll see an option that says Temporary Files Folder. You want to change that to your external drive. So click Browse, select your external drive, and then create a file folder. And I've already created one called Vegas Temp Files, so I'm going to select that and click OK. And then click Apply and OK. And that's two of the three things we need to change. The third thing we need to do is go to File and Capture Video. And on the video page, we want to select the Options and then Preferences and then Disk Management. Now, typically, your disk management is going to be set to store all your capture clips onto your C drive. And what we, d we don't want to do that because that will uh, create conflicts between the C drive and the Vegas program and all the data you're going to be storing. So what we want to do is we want to add a folder. And again, we want to select our external drive. And generally, what I do is I make a new folder for each project. So if, I'm, if I have a new Vegas project, so I have a new DVD. I'll enter the name of the DVD that I'm working on. For example, I'm doing a DVD on editing with Vegas. I'll create that folder and I'll uh, click OK. Now it's on my list here. And since that's going to be the project that I'm working on, I'm going to make that to be the folder that I'm using. And it shows me I've got 488 gigabytes of space to store uh, video clips into that folder. So I like that. I'm going to click Apply. And OK. And really, that's all you have to do to set up Vega to work with an external drive. Doing this will give you a, a lot better performance in Vegas, a lot fewer drop frames. Uh, your videos will render faster, and you'll not run out of disk space. I'm Bill Myers, and this has been another one of my video tips of the week. To find more like this, visit www.bmyers.com.